The Mathematical Analysis of Logic by George Boole Properties of Elective Functions Since elective symbols combine according to the laws of quantity, we may, by Maclaurin's theorem, expand a given function phi of x in ascending powers of x, known cases of failure accepted. Thus we have phi of x equals phi of 0 plus phi prime of 0 x plus phi double prime of 0 over 2 factorial x squared plus etc. 44. Now x squared equals x, x cubed equals x, etc. Whence phi of x equals phi of 0 plus x open brackets phi prime of 0 plus phi double prime of 0 over 2 factorial, etc. close brackets 45. Now if in 44 we make x equals 1, we have phi of 1 equals phi of 0 plus phi prime of 0 plus phi double prime of 0 over 2 factorial, etc. Whence phi prime of 0 plus phi double prime of 0 over 2 factorial plus phi triple prime of 0 over 3 factorial plus etc. equals phi of 1 minus phi of 0. Substitute this value for the coefficient of x in the second member of 45, and we have phi of x equals phi of 0 plus open brackets phi of 1 minus phi of 0 close brackets x 46, which we shall also employ under the form phi of x equals phi of 1x plus phi of 0 open brackets 1 minus x close brackets 47. Footnote. Although this and the following theorems have only been proved for those forms of functions which are expansible by Maclaurin's theorem, they may be regarded as true for all forms whatever. This will appear from the applications. The reason seems to be that, as it is only through the one form of expansion that elective functions become interpretable, no conflicting interpretation is possible. The development of phi of x may also be determined thus. By the known formula for expansion in factorials, phi of x equals phi of 0 plus delta phi of 0 x plus delta squared phi of 0 over 2 factorial x open brackets x minus 1 close brackets plus etc. End of footnote. Every function of x, in which integer powers of that symbol are alone involved, it is by this theorem reducible to the first order. The quantities phi of 0, phi of 1, we shall call the moduli of the function phi of x. They are of great importance in the theory of elective functions, as will appear from the succeeding propositions. Proposition 1. Any two functions, phi of x, psi of x, are equivalent whose corresponding moduli are equal. This is a plain consequence of the last proposition. For since phi of x equals phi of 0 plus open brackets phi of 1 minus phi of 0 close brackets x psi of x equals psi of 0 plus open brackets psi of 1 minus psi of 0 close brackets x it is evident that if phi of 0 equals psi of 0 phi of 1 equals psi of 1, the two expansions will be equivalent, and therefore the functions which they represent will be equivalent also. Footnote. Now x being an elective symbol, x open brackets x minus 1, close brackets equals 0, so that all the terms after the second vanish. Also, delta phi of 0 equals phi of 1 minus phi of 0, whence phi open brackets x equals phi of 0 close brackets plus open brackets phi of 1 minus phi of 0 close brackets x. The mathematician may be interested in the remark that this is not the only case in which an expansion stops at the second term. The expansions of the compound operative functions 
phi of d by dx plus x to the minus 1 and phi of x plus d by dx to the minus 1 are respectively phi of d by dx plus phi prime of d by dx x to the minus 1 and phi of x plus phi prime of x d by dx to the minus 1. See Cambridge Mathematical Journal, Volume 4, page 219. End of footnote. The converse of this proposition is equally true, viz. If two functions are equivalent, their corresponding moduli are equal. Among the most important applications of the above theorem, we may notice the following. Suppose it is required to determine for what forms of the function phi of x the following equation is satisfied, viz. open brackets phi of x close brackets to the nth power equals phi of x. Here we at once obtain for the expression of the conditions in question open brackets phi of 0 close brackets to the nth power equals 0 open brackets phi of 1 close brackets to the nth power equals phi of 1 48 again suppose it required to determine the conditions under which the following equation is satisfied viz phi of x psi of x equals chi of x the general theorem at once gives phi of 0, psi of 0, equals chi of 0, phi of 1, psi of 1, equals chi of 1, 49. This result may also be proved by substituting for phi of x, psi of x, chi of x, their expanded forms, and equating the coefficients of the resulting equation properly reduced. All the above theorems may be extended to functions of more than one symbol, for as different elective symbols combine with each other according to the same laws as symbols of quantity, we can first expand a given function with reference to any particular symbol which it contains, and then expand the result with reference to any other symbol, and so on in succession, the order of expansions being quite indifferent. Thus the given function being phi of xy, we have phi of xy equals phi of x0 plus open brackets phi of x1 minus phi of x0 close brackets y and expanding the coefficients with reference to x and reducing phi of xy equals phi of 0 0 plus open brackets phi of 10 minus phi of 0 0 close brackets x plus open brackets phi of 0 1 minus phi of 0 0 close brackets y plus open brackets 511 minus 510 minus 501 plus 500 close brackets xy 50 to which we may give the elegant symmetrical form 5xy equals 500 open brackets 1 minus x close brackets open brackets 1 minus y plus 501y open brackets 1 minus x close brackets plus 510x open brackets 1 minus y close brackets plus 511xy 51 wherein we shall in accordance with the language already employed Designate 500, 501, 510, 511 as the moduli of the function xy. By inspection of the above general form, it will appear that any function of two variables are equivalent whose corresponding moduli are all equal. Thus the conditions upon which depends the satisfaction of the equation, open brackets, 5xy, close brackets, n, equals 5xy are seen to be open brackets 500 0, 0, close brackets to the nth power equals 500 0, 0, open brackets 501 close brackets to the nth power equals 501 open brackets 510 close brackets to the nth power equals 510 open brackets 511 close brackets to the nth power equals 511 52 and the conditions upon which depends the satisfaction of the equation 5xy psi of xy equals chi of xy are 
phi of zero zero, psi of zero zero equals chi of zero zero. Phi of zero one, psi of zero one equals chi of zero one. Phi of one zero, psi of one zero equals chi of one zero. Phi of one one, psi of one one equals chi of one one. Fifty three. It is very easy to assign by induction from 47 and 51 the general form of an expanded elective function. It is evident that if the number of elective symbols is m, the number of the moduli will be 2 to the mth power, and that their separate values will be obtained by interchanging in every possible way the values 1 and 0 in the places of the elective symbols of the given function. The several terms of the expansion of which the moduli serve as coefficients will then be formed by writing for each one that recurs under the functional sign the elective symbol x, etc., which it represents, and for each zero the corresponding 1 minus x, etc., and regarding these as factors, the product of which multiplied by the modulus from which they are obtained constitutes a term of the expansion. Thus, if we represent the moduli of any elective function phi of x, y, dot, 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 by a1, a2, dot, 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 ar, the function itself, when expanded and arranged with reference to the moduli, will assume the form phi of x, y equals a1, t1, plus a2, t2, dot, 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 plus ar, tr, 54 in which t1, t2, dot, 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 tr are functions of x, y, dot, 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 reserved into factors of the forms x, y, dot, 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 1 minus x, 1 minus y, dot, 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 etc. These functions satisfy individually the index relations t1 to the nth power equals t1, t2 to the nth power equals t2, etc. 55 and further relations, t1, t2 equals 0, dot, 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 t1, t2 equals 0, etc. 56. The product of any two of them vanishing. This will at once be inferred from inspection of the particular forms 47 and 51. Thus, in the latter, we have for the values of t1, t2, etc. the forms x, y, x, open brackets, 1 minus y, open brackets 1 minus y, close brackets y, open brackets 1 minus x, close brackets, open brackets 1 minus y, close brackets. And it is evident that these satisfy the index relation, and that their products all vanish. We shall designate t1, t2, dot, 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 as the constituent functions of phi of x, y, and we shall define the peculiarity of the vanishing of the binary products by saying that those functions are exclusive. And indeed, the classes which they represent are mutually exclusive. The sum of all the constituents of an expanded function is unity. An elegant proof of this proposition will be obtained by expanding 1 as a function of any proposed elective symbols. Thus, if in 51 we assume phi of x, y equals 1, we have phi of 1, 1 equals 1, Phi of 1, 0 equals 1, Phi of 0, 1 equals 1, Phi of 0, 0 equals 1, and 51 gives 1 equals x, y plus x open brackets 1 minus y plus open brackets 1 minus x close brackets y plus open brackets 1 minus x close brackets open brackets 1 minus y close brackets 57. It is obvious, indeed, that however numerous the symbols involved, all the moduli of unity are unity, whence the sum of the constituents is unity. We are now prepared to enter upon the question of the general interpretation of elective equations. For this purpose, we shall find the following propositions of the greatest service. Proposition 2. If the first member of the general equation phi of x, y, dot, 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 equals zero be expanded in a series of terms, each of which is of the form a, t, a being a modulus of the given function, then for every numerical modulus a which does not vanish, we shall have the equation 
AT equals zero, and the combined interpretations of these several equations will express the full significance of the original equation. Four representing the equation under the form A1 T1 plus A2 T2 dot 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 plus AR TR equals zero, 58. Multiplying by T1 we have by 56, A1 T1 equals zero, 59. Whence if A1 is a numerical constant which does not vanish, T1 equals zero. And similarly for all the moduli which do not vanish. And inasmuch from these constituent equations we can form the given equation, their interpretations will together express its entire significance. Thus if the given equation were x minus y equals zero, x's and y's are identical, 60, we should have 511 equals 0, 510 equals 1, 501 equals minus 1, 500 equals 0, so that the expansion 51 would assume the form x open brackets 1 minus y close brackets minus y open brackets 1 minus x close brackets equals 0. Whence by the above theorem x open brackets 1 minus y close brackets equals 0, all x's are y's, y open brackets 1 minus x close brackets equals 0, all y's are x's, results which are together equivalent to 60. It may happen that the simultaneous satisfaction of equations thus deduced may require that one or more of the elective symbols should vanish. This would only imply the non-existence of a class. It may even happen that it may lead to a final result of the form 1 equals 0, which would indicate the non-existence of the logical universe. Such cases will only arise when we attempt to unite contradictory propositions in a single equation. The manner in which the difficulty seems to be evaded in the result is characteristic. It appears from this proposition that the differences in the interpretation of elective functions depend solely upon the number and position of the vanishing moduli. No change in the value of a modulus, but one which causes it to vanish, produces any change in the interpretation of the equation in which it is found. If among the infinite number of different values which we are thus permitted to give to the moduli which do not vanish in a proposed equation, any one value should be preferred. It is unity, for when the moduli of a function are all either 0 or 1, the function itself satisfies the condition. Open brackets 5xy dot 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 close brackets to the nth power equals 5xy dot dot dot. And this at once introduces symmetry into our calculus and provides us with fixed standards for reference. Proposition 3. If w equals phi of xy dot dot dot, wxy dot 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 being elective symbols, and if the second member be completely expanded and arranged in a series of terms of the form at, we shall be permitted to equate separately to zero every term in which the modulus a does not satisfy the condition a to the nth power equals a and to leave for the value of w the sum of the remaining terms. As the nature of the demonstration of this proposition is quite unaffected by the number of the terms in the second number, we will for simplicity confine ourselves to the supposition of there being four, and suppose that the moduli of the two first only satisfy the index law. We have then w equals a1 t1 plus a2 t2 plus a3 t3 plus a4 t4 61 with the relations a1 to the nth power equals a1 a2 to the nth power equals a2 in addition to the two sets of relations connecting t1 t2 t3 t4 in accordance with 55 and 56 squaring 61 we have W equals A1 T1 plus A2 T2 plus A3 squared T3 plus A4 squared T4 
and subtracting 61 from this, open brackets a3 squared minus a3 close brackets t3 plus open brackets a4 squared minus a4 close brackets t4 equals 0. And it being an hypothesis that the coefficients of those terms do not vanish, we have by proposition 2 t3 equals 0, t4 equals 0, 62, whence 61 becomes w equals a1t1 plus a2t2. The utility of this proposition will hereafter appear. Proposition 4. The functions t1, t2, dot dot dot, tr, being mutually exclusive, we shall always have psi of a1, t1, plus a2, t2, dot dot dot, plus a, r, t, r, equals psi of a1, t1, plus psi of a2, t2, dot dot dot, plus psi of a, r, t, r, 63. Whatever may be the values of a1, a2, dot, 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 ar, or of the form of psi, let the function a1, t1, plus a2, t2, dot, 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 plus ar, tr, be represented by phi of xy, dot, dot, dot. Then the moduli a1, a2, dot, 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 ar will be given by the expressions phi of 1, 1, dot, 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 phi of 1, 0, dot, 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 phi of 0, 0, dot, dot, dot. Also, psi of a1, t1, plus a2, t2, dot, 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 dot plus a, r, t, r, equals psi of phi of x, y, dot, 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 equals psi of phi of 1, 1, dot, 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 xy dot 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 plus psi of phi of one zero dot 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 x open brackets one minus y close brackets dot 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 plus psi of phi of zero zero dot 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 open brackets one minus x close brackets open brackets one minus y close brackets dot 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 equals psi of a one xy dot 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 plus psi of a two x open brackets 1 minus y close brackets dot 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 plus psi of a r open brackets 1 minus x close brackets open brackets 1 minus y close brackets dot 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 equals psi of a1 t2 plus psi of a2 t2 dot 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 plus psi of a r t r it would not be difficult to extend the list of interesting properties of which the above are examples, but those which we have noticed are sufficient for our present requirements. The following proposition may serve as an illustration of their utility. Proposition 5. Whatever process of reasoning we apply to the single given proposition, the result will either be the same proposition or a limitation of it. Let us represent the equation of the given proposition under its most general form. a1 t1 plus a2 t2 dot 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 plus a r t r equals 0, 65, resolvable into as many equations of the form t equals 0, as there are moduli which do not vanish. Now the most general transformation of this equation is psi of a1 t1 plus a2 t2 dot 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 plus a r t r equals psi of 0, 66, provided that we attribute to psi a perfectly arbitrary character, allowing it even to involve neuroelectric symbols having any proposed relation to the original ones. The development of 66 gives, by the last proposition, psi of a1 t1 plus psi of a2, t2, dot dot dot, plus psi of a r, t r, equals psi of zero. To reduce this to the general form of reference, it is only necessary to observe that since t1 plus t2, dot dot dot, plus t r, equals one, 
human rights society era size zero open bracket t1 plus t2 dot 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 plus tr close brackets whence on substitution and transposition open bracket psi of a1 minus psi of zero close bracket t1 plus open bracket psi of a2 minus psi of zero close bracket t2 dot 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 plus open bracket psi of ar minus psi of zero close bracket tr equals zero from which it appears that if A be any modulus of the original equation, the corresponding modulus of the transformed equation will be psi of A minus psi of zero. If A equals zero, then psi of A minus psi of zero equals psi of zero minus psi of zero equals zero. Whence there are no new terms in the transformed equation and therefore there are no new propositions given by equating its constituent numbers to zero. Again, since psi of a minus psi of zero may vanish without a vanishing, terms may be wanting in the transformed equation which existed in the primitive. Thus some of the constituent truths of the original proposition may entirely disappear from the interpretation of the final result. Lastly, if phi of a minus phi of zero do not vanish, it must either be a numerical constant, or it must evolve with new elective symbols. In the former case, the term in which it is found will give t equals zero, which is one of the constituents of the original equation. In the latter case, we shall have, open brackets, phi of a minus phi of zero, close brackets, t equals zero in which t has a limiting factor. The interpretation of this equation, therefore, is a limitation of the interpretation of 65. The purport of the last investigation will be more apparent to the mathematician than to the logician. As for many mathematical equations, an infinite number of others may be deduced. It seems to be necessary to show that when the original equation expresses a logical proposition, Every member of the derived series, even when obtained by expansion into a functional sign, admits of exact and consistent interpretation.